Hello, hello. Uh, this is a little bit of a video on a Volvo 240 starter replacement. Uh, so the one I'm doing it on is a 1980 uh, 240 with the B21E engine, but it's probably the same for the red block, it's like for 40 some years. Um, yeah, so it's 100 US dollars from FCP Hero. Uh, it's equal to about 937 Australian dollars. Okay, and one important thing to note before you do any work on the starter is always uh, disconnect the battery so you don't uh, cause any sparks there. Okay, so this is the location of the starter. Uh, my car is right-hand drive, so I was able to get at it pretty easily. I'm not sure, I think in the left-hand drive markets, it's probably a little bit harder to get at because you have the steering assembly in the way. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad on this one anyways. So first thing you want to do is just start disconnecting the power cable off the starter once you have your battery disconnected. 100% make sure you do that first. Alright, and then you'll see here there's a smaller wire with a little plug on it. So that's the uh, signal wire that actually gets the solenoid to engage the starter. So that's what happens when you turn the key and flicks that baby on and away she goes. Uh, so going to quickly do a little bit of uh, starter diagnosis. So what mine was doing is when I was turning the key, the starter was spinning, but it wasn't throwing out the Bendix and engaging the flywheel. So it was just the starter spinning, not going anywhere. Pretty embarrassing when you're sitting in a parking lot doing that. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. So I just thought, oh, it's easy enough. I'll change the starter. Now a few other things you could have would be uh, like if you went to go turn the key and all you get is a click and you know you have lots of juice in your battery and that's all you're getting, okay, the solenoid's probably not working, not engaging, getting, getting power across it, so uh, yeah, that could be your other problem, but yeah, there's lots of things that can go wrong with the starter. They're all fairly easy to replace, they're pretty much all the same in most cars. Alright, and then there's just going to be two bolts to undo, kind of one on top, one underneath of the starter where it bolts into the bell housing. Uh, yeah, where it gets access to the flywheel there. So yeah, you pretty much just take those out and then the starter is pretty much going to drop out from there. Alright, and yeah, I'm sorry my video basically ends after this, so uh, yeah, you just take the starter out, put the new one in, bolt it back in, put your cables back on, plug in the little cable that's for the signal for the relay to kick in, and uh, yeah, reconnect your battery cable and you will have a starter that works. Yeah.